What is a vector space? A vector space V is a set of vectors with two operations defined, addition and scalar multiplication, which satisfy the axioms of addition and scalar multiplication. And there are five axioms of addition and five axioms of scalar multiplication that must be satisfied in order for a set of vectors to be a vector space. Let's first take a look at the axioms of addition. If we let vector v, vector w, and vector z be vectors in a vector space, then they must satisfy the following axioms of addition. Number one, closed under addition. If vector v and vector w are in the vector space v, then vector v plus vector w is also in the vector space. The commutative law of addition, vector v plus vector w must equal vector w plus vector v. The associative law of addition, the sum of vector v and w plus vector v must equal vector v plus the sum of vector w and vector z. The existence of an additive identity, which indicates a zero vector must be in the vector space, such that vector v plus a zero vector equals vector v. And then we have the existence of an additive inverse, which means each vector in the set of vectors must have the opposite vector, such that vector v plus the opposite of vector v is equal to the zero vector. And now let's take a look at the five axioms of scalar multiplication, where now a and b are real numbers, and again, vector v, vector w, and vector z are vectors in the vector space. First, we have closed under scalar multiplication, which means if a is a real number and v is in the vector space, then a times vector v is also in the vector space. Next, a times the sum of vector v and w is equal to a times vector v plus a times vector w. Next, we have the sum of a and b times vector v is equal to a times vector v plus b times vector v. Next, we have a times the product of b and vector v equals the product of a and b times vector v. And then finally, we have one times vector v equals vector v. So again, all 10 of these axioms must be satisfied in order for a set of vectors to be a vector space. I included this slide just to show all 10 axioms in one list. Now let's take a look at some examples of vector spaces. Again, to prove these are vector spaces, we would have to go through all 10 axioms and show they are true. First, Rn is a vector space, where Rn is a collection of ordered list or n tuples, x sub one through x sub n, where x sub j is a real number for j equals one through n. So the set of all vectors using all possible n tuples makes up our n, which is a vector space. The set of all two by three matrices is a vector space. The set of polynomials of degree n is a vector space in the form shown below as p sub n. And the set of functions that map real numbers to real numbers is also a vector space. And again, to show all these are vector spaces, we would have to go through all 10 axioms and show they hold true. Before we go, I do wanna mention, the definition does define the two operations, vector addition, denoted by the plus sign, and scalar multiplication, denoted by placing a scalar next to the vector. However, vector space need not use usual operations, and for this reason, the operations will always be given in the definition of the vector space. Just keep in mind the 10 axioms must still hold true under the definitions of the operations in order for the set of vectors to be a vector space. I hope you found this helpful.